Canada Center, the Raptors looking to please their fans in this Eastern Conference matchup. Our starting lineup to look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. And as we take a look here at Joe Johnson, guys, uh, what do you think? Yeah, here's a guy who gives the coach the luxury uh, of a very simple play call, which is just the ISO. Get him the ball and get out of the way, and good things are going to happen. Now here's Gay. Five on the clock. The nine-foot shot. They get it back. It's another look. And Johnson puts it in. Johnson's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Raptors. Boy, what a great job making good on the second opportunity. He stayed with that play from start to finish. You know, you got to love the way that Amir Johnson attacks around the rim, whether it's you know, looking to finish off a play or grab a rebound or block a shot. You love his no-nonsense approach uh, to defending and, and finishing in the lane. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Lowry against Williams. Joe Johnson on the wing. No good off the front iron. And Amir Johnson, not just a finisher Clark around the rim, a shot blocker, a pretty good defender. Yeah, he's got excellent length for a power forward, and he's put some rocks in his pockets over the years. He's become better able to hold his ground inside. Folks, that means basically he's added some weight is what's happened with Amir. Well, an interesting revelation regarding Rudy Gay came out recently. I mean, he's had vision issues for years and refused to wear corrective lenses, contacts, or goggles. That might explain why a player with such a great looking stroke would struggle with his shooting percentages from outside. Andre Blotch, he's checked in for the Nets. Karolinko comes in for Kevin Garnett. Leaps for it. Watch the pass to Karolinko. He feeds it to Williams. Pass to Blotch. The Nets need to get a shot off here. The second chance effort. That one off the back iron and out. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. And that one's good. And the layup just gift-wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear path to the basket. It's Williams with the drive. Knocks down the 10-footer. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Three-pointer, Lowry. What a play! He simply cranes it in at the buzzer. Oh, what a three at the horn in the quarter on a high note. What a big shot. I'll say that'll put a little bounce in their step coming back out of this break. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Raptors up seven. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. the second quarter getting ready to start up and from what we've seen so far from the Raptors guys your thoughts the defense was really impressive there guys in that first quarter they came out focused right from the beginning and Steve that's a big part of why they're on top right now Tyler Hansborough out there with Landry Fields then there's DJ Augustine then there's Gray and it's Ross in at the two guard that's the group for Toronto to start the second quarter on defense Brooklyn it's a five-point game. Augustine off the pick from Gray. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Augustine's got his first points of the game. And, you know, for Raptors coach Dwayne Casey from last season, he's wanted to improve the rim protection inside. Now with a little more size, you add Valanchunas, and hopefully the pieces are in place for Casey to build a winning team in Toronto. That's good. They started the game off tortoise-like, but their offense coming to life. Tortoise-like. Wow, Clark. Yeah, they're putting it together, but still trailing. Their offense is finally getting some traction. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, guys, Andre Kirilenko has signed a contract with the Brooklyn Nets after playing a year with his old team, Seska Moscow, in 2011-12. He said, with the condensed season in the NBA, it was a great chance for me to play in Russia in front of my family and friends while I'm still in my prime. And guys, he won the EuroLeague MVP. Now, back 
at it in the NBA. Nice to have him back. Thanks, Doris. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular, never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. And when you look at this Raptors team, they have size and athleticism. Steve certainly capable of defending well. Yeah, they do have the talent to be good defensively. Some length on the perimeter. They've got Amir Williams inside. And I think uh, Valanciunas is an interesting player with defensive capability. So this is a club that has the potential uh, to be pretty good at, at that end of the floor. Terry kicks to Kirilenko. And there's the pass to Williams. Drills it from outside. Williams has got five points in the quarter. Got it off in time. No good. And we're through two here in a good one. Raptors lead by four. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Hey, Kevin. Well, Coach Casey, obviously it's early in the season, but how would you say this team is shaping up in terms of its chemistry and personnel-wise? I love our guys. We have a great group of young men that are competing hard, and uh, it feels good because I know our guys are totally engaged and focused and give us what they have. Coach, thank you so much. Over to you guys. Okay, Doris, thanks. And we'll have the start of the third quarter for you shortly, but first, the halftime show. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Fridays are made for basketball, and now, from the 2K Sports Studios, we're... The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. A beautiful view of Toronto, Ontario, as we welcome you back to the game. Without question, Darren Williams displaying his skills today. I think this is the kind of quality performance we expect to see from him. He's always setting the bar high for himself, and sometimes I think we just kind of get numb to how good he really is. You know, Steve, I think it's doubly difficult to keep up the level of play he does when you know you're the focal point of the other team's defense. To be able to play like he has when you have a reputation of being the guy, well, that's impressive. You know, the Nets really turned things around last season, guys, and a big part of that was them turning around their road record a bit, turned some of those losses into wins, and much better on the road. It got them the fourth seed in the East. And Brooklyn looking who they've got on the perimeter, the all-star trio of Williams, Johnson, and Pierce. Down low, Kevin Garnett and Brooke Lopez. Rose and dishes to Lowry. Six to shoot. Feeds to Johnson. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Johnson's got the first bucket of the third here for the Raptors. And for the Nets, who looked so much better when they were out on the road last season, actually ended with the second-best road record, Steve, in the Eastern Conference. And you remember their hot start to the season last year. Well, a lot of that was them coming in ready and winning games on the road. Eventually, they cooled off, made a coaching change, and then all the huge off-season moves. So this is really something uh, to watch this year, a pretty exciting club. Free throw good, Williams. You know, Darren Williams is so strong and so poised in the post. I'd like to see him down on the block a little bit more often. There are very few point guards in this league who really have the strength to deal with Williams in a post-up situation. Andre Blotch, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Garnett. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. Johnson gets the bucket. That is such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. Yes, yeah, one thing to create a turnover, but to so alertly turn it into a transition opportunity. That's even better. And the dunk by Valanciunas. There it is, guys. That Ole defense. Just watching him go Clark right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. And for Darren Williams, he is very versatile. Clark. Yeah, he can pass it, shoot it, drive it. Kills you with the crossover. And he's got excellent size that, that allows him to back you down, too. He can put you in the washing machine and <laughs> take you for a spin every now and then. And he should thank the defense for those two points, really. Nobody paid him any mind there. Williams against Lowry. Lowry gets a screen from Valenciunas. Pass to DeRozan. Okay, outside. Pierce with the steal. 
We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. The Raptors out in front, up two. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next, Don. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. And let's quickly have a look at the State Farm assist of the game, which came, Steve, from kind of an unlikely source here. Yes, the big fella here doing his best impression of a point guard, ser <laughs> serving up a, a brilliant feed here. That's gorgeous. Aurie and DeRozan, they're the backboard, and their forwards, Rudy Gay and Amir Johnson. And it's Hansborough in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Hansborough is screen on Pierce. Six to shoot. Gay passes to Lowry. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Johnson kicks to Terry. Into Lopez to tie it up. And Johnson with the block. And he gets it back. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. Ooh, he's playing hard, but you got to play smart, too. Get there too late, and that's a big whistle. Terry against Lowry. Dishes it to Hansbrook. And taken away by Johnson. And it's Terry off the drive. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Rano shooting nearly 70% from the four. They are putting on a clinic offensively. A three ball. It's money from deep. And that is the shot of the game. Well, he's got the guts and courage to take it and the skill to make it. For Brooklyn, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Kicks it to Pierce. Out to the right wing. And it's Terry off the drive. Sinks it. And that shot brings them to within just one. Whoa, that's a big shot right there. And that one really took the air out of this crowd. Kevin, the silence is deafening. Lowry with the ball. Guarded now by Jason Terry. Big time bucket there, Clark. And Kevin, the crowd is loving. Well, they know exactly how big that shot was. Nets have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Johnson outside. Terry kicks to Johnson. To the wing right side. 14 feet away. Yes! And that shot brings them to within just one. Look at the size discrepancy there between the defender and the shooter. Well, those are warm-up jumpers when there's not a hand in his face. He'll knock those down all day. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you've got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. And so they foul intentionally. <laughs> So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. And the Raptors making a change here. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. And the free throws make things a lot more simple for them. Now you just have to guard against the three-pointer. Timeout called. The Nets, they're down by three. There's 10 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Well, down three, you don't necessarily have to go for the three. You could go for the quick bucket and then the foul. I'm not sure. I mean, in this situation, I think they should look for the three, Steve. I mean, try to tie this thing up. You've got three-point shooters. Let it fly. Pretty bad defense letting the offense get right to the rim, but a smart play to foul once he was there. But you know what's going to happen. They sent a message right there. Nothing easy inside. <laughs> And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he ends up making the second, and that brings them within two here. Here is Hensbro. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. And that's exactly how you close the game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. They trail by four. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? 
Well, it's not looking good, but you, you want to get a quick shot, a quick foul, and who knows? You never know what's going to happen. That's right. There's still a slight chance that a bucket and a quick foul could get them the ball back. quarter of play about two minutes in now Pierce for three the shot is off well, he actually did a nice job there reading how that shot was going to come off the rim perfect I mean that can make up for any Kyle congratulations on this win tell us what the team's objective was tonight that most helped in getting this victory uh, everybody played uh, we all played together you know uh, we, we stayed you know aggressive and stayed stayed the course of the game cohesive everybody get up